the conscience within you is the guru the edginess i think is that you're expanding the boundaries of your understanding you're nudging up against the edges of your current level of ignorance and you know there's more and you know you don't know but wah, 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 therefore I'm a fraud how can I be teaching this stuff but it's like you're learning it's sort of like you learning is to those who are watching will be a big lesson in itself you won't even know that that's the lesson that's coming across except Wow, this guy looks like he doesn't, you know, like he's, he's being brave enough to trust into this. Yes, <laughs> it's the thing you go through. And then increasingly, though, is The only thing that's fraudulent about you is the misperceptions that you believe about who you are. And that's huge. Like you're really real, really. Everything is really real, really. We're in the middle of reality, really. We're not in a fake world, really. And so you don't have to get rid of your fraudulent nature, but learn to shut up, is like the quick way to get it. Silent-minded. Because then you're not energizing your fraudulent self-identity. And when you're not energizing your fraudulent current level of ignorance, and that's my favorite phrase, I think. <laughs> then, what's really real begins to dawn on you more and more and more. The ego is a fraud, but you're not the ego. Whoa. <laughs> you are the holy son or daughter of the life principle. Really? Who's confused about it? But it doesn't change the fact, you're still the Holy Son or Daughter of the Life Principle. Oh. And it's not egotistical to say that. And so not all, only are you the Holy Son or Daughter of the Life Principle God, you're not only the Son or Daughter, you are actually the self-expression of God. You know what I mean? God is all there is of you. You're not God in terms of prime mover. You didn't create this whole thing. But you are nothing but Godness. And when you believe something else, because other people told you, you believed it, uh, you know, mom said this, dad said that, I don't know. Well, they know. Teachers at school friends in kindergarten. <laughs> and because like the deepest part of you knows what's true. When you start believing something that's not actually true, it feels fraudulent. And that's sort of like the cool little switch on it. Therefore, whenever you feel like you're being a fraud, let that be the clue. Oh, I'm bumping up against the curb. I'm believing something that's not true. Let me reassess. Oh yeah, we drive on the right side of the road here. Oh yeah, I'm not fraud. I'm holy son or daughter of the, of the all. It's not egotistical to say that. At first it seemed like that would be like the height of ego. That you're God in specific self-expression. But it's actually the most egoless you could be and it's true already and you had nothing to do with it 
Oh. Oh. And you'll have insight into it. It'll feel like, oh yeah, I knew that. Come on. And then someone will say something. Or whatever. And you go back. And it's just like, it feels like lifetimes of that. So let the fraudulent feeling be feedback to just reassess. And you don't have to fake yourself into the new perspective. Just, just stop energizing the old one. And again, that's cool. You don't have to regurgitate the new one. Just stop resuscitating the old one. And what's really true will start having ascendancy. And then if you just sort of relax and let it soak in, and like then start seeing from that state more, so that you start being the place where you, instead of seeing a world of frauds, you start seeing sons and daughters of the life principle everywhere. That'll help keep it alive in you.